Make a choice. What do experienced generals, businessmen, and artists all have in common? They will all give you the same piece of advice. Make a choice. If you're a business person and you're trying to decide for a week whether you should sell the green shirt or whether you should sell the red shirt, you know what you're not doing for a week? You're not selling shirts. If you're an artist and you're taking a day trying to figure out how to describe your protagonist, you know what you're not doing? You're not writing. You're not selling your book. Heck, nobody even knows you're an author right now. If you're a general and you're trying to decide for an hour whether you should advance or retreat, for that hour, soldiers are dying. Worse yet, they're easy to target because they're staying still. An immobile object makes for an easy target. You know who understands this? Deer. A deer is standing there thinking, as long as I stand still, nobody's going to see me because I blend in perfectly against this highway. Tens of thousands of years of evolution are working against the deer, whose mammalian instincts are telling it that as long as it does nothing, it's going to be okay. Are you that deer? Are you frozen in fear? The two things that stop us from making choices are fear of failing or FOMO, fear of missing out. Every waiter has had the experience where someone's sitting there for a half hour trying to decide which entree they want to choose because they're afraid that there's another better entree out there. And if they miss that better entree, life is going to be miserable. And in the meantime, the rest of the table is going to starve to death because they're waiting on their venison appetizer. Choose before your friends starve to death. And I get it. Fear of failing? That's our biggest fear. It's legitimate. Maybe we don't want to commit to a job because the last job really sucked. Maybe we don't want to ask someone out because the last time we did, we found out that she was dating someone named Travis Kelsey. <sighs> Imagine a batter who never wants to commit to swinging the bat because he's afraid of the last time that he got a strike. But guess what? Every major league player goes up to bat knowing that two out of the three times that they go to bat, they're not going to be able to commit the one thing that they're going up to bat to do, which is to get on base. Imagine being that batter. Take a chance. Take a swing. Listen to the business person and sell one of your shirts. Listen to the artist and finish your book. Listen to the general and move your damn troops. But whatever you do, don't be that deer. My name is John Abbott. I've made a bunch of bad choices. But guess what? I'm still moving forward. You should too. Check out my other videos and subscribe. Thanks.